Foundations for Recovery is a one-on-one -on -one peer mentoring program uh, for people who are struggling with drugs and alcohol. Um, not only with drugs and alcohol, we could deal with gambling or sexual addiction. Uh, we offer marriage counseling or relationship counseling now. Um, what we do is we'll, we'll meet with our clients weekly. Um, we take them to meetings if they need to. We help them set goals. Um, we don't tell them what to do here. Uh, we suggest, strong, strongly suggest what they should be doing um, and hope they follow our suggestions. Um, we're all experimentally qualified down here, meaning I you know, battled with all kinds of drugs and alcohol addiction over the last 10 years. Um, and you know, most of our recovery coaches have uh, dealt with drugs and alcohol. Um, some have only dealt with, you know, like codependency or marriage issues, things like that. And we match the, we match the client up with the coach um, so they understand exactly what it is the individual is going through. Um, I know personally for me being a coach, uh, some of my clients have become really my best friends um, through their journeys um, and uh, we've developed a really strong bond, really close relationship. Um, and not only have they helped, you know, if I helped them in their sobriety, but they've helped me tremendously in mine. We're considered prevention um, and we're nonprofit. We don't take insurance or anything. We don't, you know, people just walk in here. We don't ask for money or anything. Um, they, it's simply they come on their own, you know, if they, if they want help and they don't know where else to go, they come here. Um, uh, the biggest thing I've found here is when, you know, people stumble and relapse, we don't kick them to the curb and sit there and tell them they're doing a bad job, you know, we just love them back in and tell them to get back up and keep going. What it's like to be a recovery coach is, uh, it's almost like you're their biggest cheerleader. You know, uh, when they get 60 days clean, you're like, yeah, good job, you know, it's like awesome, you know, great. Well, let's keep this going. Say they get to 30 days and a relapse happens. Okay, it's I'm not sitting there telling them what they should have done, you know, the mistakes they made. I am telling them to pick, you know, put down the stick they're beating themselves up with and let's go to a meeting tonight. Let's, let's get back into that routine that got you that 30 days to begin with um, and like I said being a coach has helped me grow in my sobriety um, because it's an inspiration to watch these guys get to uh, 30 60 90 days because and it also helps me never forget how tough it was because I watch their struggles every day you know my phone constantly rings I volunteer at foundations for recovery um, what we do is we're a one-on-one -on -one peer mentoring program. You know, the biggest thing is, is you, you can't do this thing alone. You need as much help as possible, and it's not like we're trying to get you down here for money because we don't charge, you know, and that's, that's awesome, I think. It, it's great that we offer help to anybody who wants to come through the doors. So that's really the biggest thing is you cannot do this thing alone, and why, why not have another resource, another person in recovery that is trying to help you along this journey. This is different than a sponsor. Um, I try to work the steps, a sponsor will work the steps with you in AA. Um, with my guys, I try to work the steps with them. Um, I try to kind of incorporate sponsorship into it a little bit, um, but we are more, I wanna say we're more gung-ho than a sponsor um, because sponsors, you know, they don't contact you really you know, you have to be the one contacting them. I'm sending my guys texts, calling them every day, every couple days, you know, just checking up on them. Um, and <clears throat> there's incidents where I've, you know, I, I work at, I have to get up at five in the morning, Monday through Thursday, go to work, work 10 hours. Um, but there's, there's been incidents where I've gone to the hospital, which is right down the road from my house at 11 o'clock at night on a work night, you know, where I had to be to work at six in the morning um, because somebody wanted to be checked in to two north because he's coming down from heroin use. My phone's always on and you know I'll get up and talk to anybody at any hour of 
you know, or I'll go sit at the hospital with them. You know, we'll go to any length to try to help you stay sober. But you got to reach out for help if you need help.